David Bailey really stuck in my mind. And when I did uh, eventually started photography, uh, I often used him as a reference point. I found his his portraits were amazing uh, in the sense that they really captured the essence of a person or an idea and presented them to the person who were looking at them. So I, I, I took that, I think, from much of David Bailey's work and tried to incorporate that in my own work. It's a lot easier now and more instantaneous in terms of producing work, uh, especially when you're covering, say, product, food, or anything where there's multiple images um, to, to shoot digitally. But there was definitely a thing about film, waiting to see if you had the shot or that, that money money shot. Sometimes when I'm out and I haven't got uh, my cameras with me, then I, and, I, and there's a shot that needs to be had or something that really, um, I feel, does provoke thought or, 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 or feeling, uh, I will take the photograph on my smartphone. In my mind, and technically from what I see, smartphones are never going to, um, or at the minute, they, they're not at the level of more professional cameras. Um, however, I feel that it's not solely, photography is not solely down to the equipment that you use. It's more down to what you perceive or what you want to show. I found out that people want to show good quality images online, but they don't want to spend a lot of money on professional equipment. Because of the advances in mobile phone technology, photography has become way more accessible than ever before. 